Moclobamide, sold as Amira, Aurorix, Clobemix, Depnil and Minarix, is a reversible inhibitor of monoamine oxidase A Rima, drug primarily used to treat depression and social anxiety. It is not approved for use in the United States, but is approved in other Western countries such as the UK and Australia TGA approved in December 2000. It is produced by affiliates of the Hoffman La Roche Pharmaceutical Company. Initially, Aurorix was also marketed by Roche in South Africa, but was withdrawn after its patent rights expired and Ciplamedpro's Depnil and Pharmadynamic's Clorix became available at half the cost. No significant rise in blood pressure occurs when moclobamide is combined with amines such as tyramine-containing foods or pressor amine drugs, unlike with the older non-selective and irreversible monoamine oxidase inhibitors MAOIs, which cause a severe rise in blood pressure with such combination. Due to the lack of anticholinergic, cardiovascular, cognitive and psychomotor impairments moclobamide is advantageous in the elderly as well as those with cardiovascular disease. Medical uses Reversible selective MAOIs such as moclobamide are widely under-prescribed due to the misconception that the side effect profile of moclobamide is analogous to that of the irreversible and non-selective MAOIs. MAOIs such as moclobamide are reported to have a relatively fast onset of action compared to other antidepressant drug classes, and have good long-term tolerability in terms of side effects. Tolerance does not seem to occur. Research has found that moclobamide retains its beneficial therapeutic properties in depression for at least a year. Unipolar depression. Moclobamide has demonstrated effectiveness and efficacy in the treatment and management of major depressive disorder, with both endogenous and non endogenous depression responding. In addition, moclobamide has a fast onset of action compared to other antidepressants and is significantly more tolerable than the tricyclic antidepressants. Due to a very good safety profile and very low incidence of side effects, moclobamide is likely to have a high level of acceptability by individuals suffering from depression. Higher doses, greater than 450 mg per day, may be more effective in severe depression, while patients treated with a lower dose tend to respond less well than those treated with tricyclic antidepressants, psychotic depression, unipolar endogenous depression, melancholic depression, retarded depression, agitated depression and neurotic depression all respond to moclobamide as does atypical depression. Unipolar endogenous depression is reported to have the best response to moclobamide therapy. Individuals suffering from depression who are given moclobamide are twice as likely to improve on moclobamide than on placebo. A concern of antidepressant adverse effects is sexual dysfunction, however, moclobamide has actually been found to increase the libido and also improve impaired erection, ejaculation and orgasm. Cardiovascular toxicity is a concern with antidepressants such as tricyclic antidepressants as well as the irreversible MAOIs. When cardiovascular toxicity is a concern, SSRIs or the reversible MAOIs such as moclobamide are an option as they lack or have a significantly reduced level of cardiovascular toxicity in terms of adverse effect as well as an overdose. The effectiveness of moclobamide in agitated depression is equivalent to that of amipramine and sedative antidepressants such as amitriptyline, neon and meprotoline. The therapeutic response in agitated depressive individuals is similar to that seen in non-agitated depression, however, a past history of use of antidepressants reduces the chance of successful therapeutic response. The addition of a benzodiazepine to moclobamide therapy has not been found to be a benefit in this population group. Moclobamide cause less side effects than amipramine, and it has better tolerability compared to TCA's bipolar depression. While not generally recommended as a monotherapy for bipolar depression as with all antidepressants in one clinical trial it appeared although statistical significance at the p equals 0.05 was not reached as though moclobamide was equally effective as amipramine at reducing depressive symptoms but had a significantly lower risk of causing a manic switch. This is in line with recent findings that MAOIs as a class are superior to other antidepressants in terms of both their relatively low rate of manic switching and their efficacy in the treatment of bipolar depression. Dysthymia, moclobamide has been found to be effective in the treatment and management of this depressive disorder. Social phobia, moclobamide has been found to be effective for the treatment of social anxiety disorder in both short and long-term placebo-controlled clinical trials. 
Moclobamide is effective but not as effective as the irreversible MAOIs in the treatment of social phobia. Maximal benefits can take 8 to 12 weeks to manifest. There is a high risk of treatment failure if there is comorbid alcohol abuse, however. The Australian Medicines Handbook lists social phobia as an accepted but not a licensed indication, smoking cessation. Moclobamide has been tested in heavy dependent smokers against placebo based on the theory that tobacco smoking could be a form of self-medicating of major depression, and moclobamide could therefore help increase abstinence rates due to moclobamide mimicking the MAO-A inhibiting effects of tobacco smoke. Moclobamide was administered for three months and then stopped. At six months follow-up it was found those who had taken moclobamide for three months had a much higher successful quit rate than those in the placebo group. However, at 12-month follow-up the difference between the placebo group and the moclobamide group was no longer significant. Panic disorder. Moclobamide is useful in the treatment and management of panic disorder. Panic disorder is mentioned as an accepted but unlicensed indication in the Australian Medicines Handbook. ADHD. Two small studies assessing the benefit of moclobamide in people with attention deficit disorder found that moclobamide produced favorable results. Fibromyalgia. Moclobamide has been found to improve pain and functioning in this group of people. Migraine. Moclobamide has been reported to be effective in the treatment of migraine and chronic tension headache. Similar to other MAOIs, reversible MAOIs such as moclobamide may also be effective in a range of other psychiatric disorders. Menopausal flushing may also respond to moclobamide. Moclobamide may also have benefit for some patients with Parkinson's disease by extending and enhancing the effects of L-DOPA. In efficacy studies for the treatment of major depressive disorder, moclobamide has been found to be significantly more effective than placebo, as effective as the tricyclic antidepressants TCAs, and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, and somewhat less effective than the older, irreversible MAOIs phenylzine and trenylcypramine. In terms of tolerability, however, moclobamide was found to be comparable to the SSRIs and better tolerated than the TCAs and older MAOIs. There is some evidence that moclobamide on its own or in combination with other antidepressants such as SSRIs is also effective for treatment-resistant depression and that the combination can be administered without the development of serotonin syndrome. However, further research is needed before such a combination can be recommended. Follow-up studies show that ongoing use of antidepressants leads to continuing improvement in depression over time, and also have demonstrated that moclobamide retains its therapeutic efficacy as an antidepressant for at least a year. This long-term efficacy is equivalent to that seen with other antidepressant classes. People on irreversible MAOIs have to discontinue these antidepressants two weeks before general anesthesia. However, the use of moclobamide due to its reversible nature, would allow such patients to possibly continue antidepressant therapy. A dexamethasone suppression test, DST, and plasma and urine methoxyhydroxyphenylglycol, MHPG, test can be used to estimate who is likely to respond to moclobamide antidepressant therapy. Pregnancy and lactation The doses of moclobamide in breast milk are very low, 0.06% of moclobamide being recovered in breast milk, and therefore it has been concluded that moclobamide is unlikely to have any adverse effect on a suckling baby. Children Use in children is not recommended as there is insufficient data to assess their safety and efficacy in these patients. Elderly Reversible MAOIs such as moclobamide may have advantages in the treatment of depression associated with Alzheimer's disease due to its effect on noradrenaline. Cognitive impairments have been found to improve in people with dementia when depression is treated with moclobamide. Due to its superior safety profile, moclobamide has been recommended as a first-line agent for the treatment of depression in the elderly. Due to the side effect profile of moclobamide, it may be a better option for this subgroup of people than other antidepressants. Research has found evidence that moclobamide may be able to counter anticholinergic scopolamine induced cognitive impairments thus making moclobamide a good choice in the depression in the elderly and those with dementia. Adverse effects 
The incidence of adverse events is not correlated with age, however, adverse events occur more often in females than in males. Moclobamide is regarded as a generally safe antidepressant and due to its favorable side effect profile, it can be considered a first-line therapeutic antidepressant. Side effects of moclobamide are exceptionally low, with insomnia, headache and dizziness being the most commonly reported side effects in the initial stages of therapy with moclobamide. Many antidepressants have an adverse effect on sexual function, however, treatment with moclobamide has actually been found to improve sexual function. Moclobamide does not have any adverse effect on cognitive abilities, thus there are no impairments of moclobamide therapy on memory, attention functions nor is ability to drive a motor vehicle affected adversely. Moclobamide, even at high doses of 600 mg, does not impair the ability to drive a motor vehicle. The tolerability of moclobamide is similar in women and men and it is also well tolerated in the elderly. Moclobamide has been found to be superior to tricyclic and irreversible Maui antidepressants in terms of side effects, as it does not cause anticholinergic, sedative or cardiovascular adverse effects as well as not causing weight gain. Unlike the irreversible MAOIs there is no evidence of liver toxicity with moclobamide. Moclobamide has a similar efficacy profile compared to other antidepressants but is significantly superior to the tricyclic antidepressants and the classic unselective or irreversible MAOIs, in terms of tolerance and safety profile. Moclobamide has little effect on psychomotor functions. Other side effects include nausea, insomnia, tremor and lightheadedness, orthostatic hypotension, dizziness upon standing, is uncommon even among the elderly. Behavioral toxicity or other impairments relating to everyday living does not occur with moclobamide, except that in doses of 400 mg or higher peripheral reaction time may be impaired. Peripheral edema has been associated with moclobamide, most of the side effects are transient disappearing within two weeks of treatment. Serious fatigue, headache, restlessness, nervousness and sleep disturbances have been described as side effects from moclobamide therapy. A paradoxical worsening of depression has been reported in some individuals in several studies, and reports of suicide or suicidal ideation have been reported as a rare adverse effect of moclobamide. Overall, antidepressants decrease the risk of suicide. Moclobamide is believed to have only small proconvulsant effects, however, rarely seizures may occur. Hypertension has been reported to occur very rarely with moclobamide therapy. Moclobamide is relatively well tolerated. The following are the potential adverse effects in their respective incidences. Common, greater than 1% incidence, adverse effects, nausea, dry mouth, constipation, diarrhea, insomnia, dizziness, anxiety, restlessness, uncommon, rare. Contraindications avoid use in confusional states, bipolar disorder, although it seems less likely than amipramine to cause a manic switch. Pheochromocytoma and caution is recommended in agitated, excited patients, thyrotoxicosis interactions, drug moclobamide has fewer interactions than irreversible M. AOIs. Cimetidine, however, causes a significant rise in moclobamide levels and therefore if the combination is used, lower doses of moclobamide have been recommended. There is little increase in the effects of alcohol when combined with moclobamide and, in fact, moclobamide causes a reduction in alcohol-related impairments. Moclobamide also interacts with pethidine, meperidine, and dextropropoxyphene. Ephedrine in combination with moclobamide increases the risk of cardiovascular adverse effects. Moclobamide is also likely to interact with warfarin. The combination of moclobamide with prescription or over-the-counter sympathomimetic drugs is not recommended due to the potential of significant drug interactions. Serotonin syndrome has been reported when moclobamide has been taken in combination with other serotonin-enhancing drugs. However, due to moclobemida's reversible MAO inhibition, serotonin syndrome is significantly less likely to occur with moclobamide than with older irreversible MAOIs. Serotonin syndrome has been reported when trazodone was abruptly replaced with moclobamide. Taking at the same time or starting moclobamide too soon after discontinuing clomipramine, or other serotonin reuptake inhibitors, such as SSRIs may result in the development of a serotonin syndrome. SNRIs, such as venlafaxine in combination with moclobamide have also been associated with serotonin syndrome. Cimetidine, causes a doubling of the blood plasma levels of moclobamide. Blood plasma levels of trimipramine and meprotoline and possibly other tricyclic antidepressants increase when used in combination with moclobamide and may require dosage adjustments if the combination is used for treatment-resistant depression. 
The elimination of zolmatriptan is reduced by moclobamide and if the combination is used, a dosage reduction of zolmatriptan is recommended. Moclobamide reduces the metabolism of dextromethorphan. Dietary irreversible MAOIs can cause unpleasant and occasionally dangerous side effects such as a hypertensive crisis after intake of food or drink containing indirectly acting sympathomimetic amines such as tyramine. This is sometimes referred to as the cheese effect. These side effects are due to irreversible inhibition of MAO in the gut and vasomotor neurons. However, the reversible MAUI antidepressants such as moclobamide have a very different side effect profile in this regard. The reversible binding to MAO-A by moclobamide allows amines such as tyramine to displace moclobamide from MAO-A allowing its metabolism and removing the risk of a hypertensive crisis that occurs with irreversible MAO inhibition. Of 2,300 people in multiple clinical trials who were treated with moclobamide in doses up to 600 mg with no dietary restrictions, none experienced a tyramine-mediated hypertensive reaction. As the presser effect of moclobamide is so low, dietary restrictions are not necessary in people eating a normal diet, in contrast to irreversible MAOIs. However, some rare cheeses that have a high tyramine level may possibly cause a presser effect and require caution. The potentiation of the presser effect of tyramine by moclobamide is only one-seventh to one-tenth of that of irreversible MAOIs. In order to minimize this potentiation, postprandial administration taken after meals of moclobamide is recommended. The combined use of moclobamide and selegiline requires dietary restrictions as the combination can lead to increased sensitivity to the presser effect of foods containing tyramine. While moclobamide or the irreversible MAO B selective inhibitor selegiline taken alone has very little presser effect and requires no DETRI restriction, the combination of selegiline with moclobamide leads to a significant enhancement of the presser effect, and such a combination requires dietary restriction of foods containing high amounts of tyramine. The combination of moclobamide and a reversible MAO-B inhibitor requires tyramine dietary restrictions. Overdose Moclobamide is considered to be less toxic in overdose compared to older antidepressants, such as the tricyclic antidepressants and non-selective irreversible MAO inhibitors, making it a safer antidepressant in the elderly or people with physical disorders. Of 18 people who overdosed on moclobamide during clinical trials, all recovered fully and moclobamide was judged to be safe for in as well as outpatient use. Intoxications with moclobamide as single agent are usually mild, however, when combined with tricyclic or SSRI antidepressants the overdose much more toxic and potentially fatal. Moclobamide, is preferred by doctors for patients who are at risk of suicide, due to moclobemida's low toxicity in overdose. Patients with mixed intoxications e.g. with other CNS active drugs may show severe or life-threatening symptoms and should be hospitalized. Treatment is largely symptomatic and should be aimed at maintenance of the vital functions. Withdrawal and tolerance Withdrawal symptoms appear to be very rare with moclobamide compared to other antidepressants. A single report of relatively mild flu like symptoms persisting for seven days after rapid reduction of high dose moclobamide therapy has been reported in one patient. Withdrawal of moclobamide causes a rebound in REM sleep. Moclobamide does not seem to prevent withdrawal symptoms from serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Discontinuation of moclobamide is recommended to be done gradually to minimize side effects e.g. rapid return of condition being treated and or the appearance of withdrawal symptoms. Tolerance to the therapeutic effects has been reported in a small number of users of MAOIs including moclobamide. Pharmacology Moclobamide is a benzamide, derivative of morpholine, which acts pharmacologically as a selective, reversible inhibitor of monoamine oxidase A, REMA, a type of monoamine oxidase inhibitor, MAUI, and increases levels of norepinephrine, noradrenaline, dopamine, and especially serotonin, in neuronal cells as well as in synaptic vesicles. Extracellular levels also increase which results in increased monoamine receptor stimulation and suppression of REM sleep, downregulation of three adrenoceptors. A single 300 mg dose of moclobamide inhibits 80% of monoamine oxidase A, MAO A, and 30% of monoamine oxidase B, MAO B, blocking the decomposition of norepinephrine, serotonin and, to a lesser extent, dopamine. 
There is also some evidence pointing towards moclobamide possessing neuroprotective properties. There is no cumulative effect of moclobamide centrally when taken long-term. With long-term use of moclobamide, there is a significant down-regulation of B adrenoceptors. Single or repeated dosing with 100 to 300 mg of moclobamide leads to a reduction in deaminated metabolites of amines such as 3,4-dihydroxyphenylacetic acid, 3,4-dihydroxyphenylethylglycol as well as 5-HIAA. Excretion of homovanillic acid and vanillomandelic acid via urine is also reduced. There is also a temporary increase in prolactin during initial intake of 100 to 300 mg of moclobamide. L-dihydroxyphenylalanine is also reduced. However, suppression of the serotonin metabolite is less pronounced than the inhibition of the metabolite of noradrenaline which suggests there are other major metabolic pathways for serotonin other than MAO-A. It has been described as a slow binding inhibitor, whereby conformational changes to either moclobamide or the enzyme to MAO-A slowly form a more tightly bound complex, resulting in the non-competitive MAO inhibition by moclobamide. With three times daily dosing the inhibition on MAO-A was relatively constant with moclobamide. The MAO inhibition of moclobamide lasts about 8 to 10 hours and wears off completely by 24 hours after dosing. The inhibition of MAO-A by moclobamide is 10 times more potent than the irreversible MAOIs phenylzine and approximately equivalent to tranylcypramine and isocarboxazid. Moclobamide increases levels of extracellular monoamines and decreases levels of their metabolites in rat brains. Tolerance to these effects does not seem to occur with chronic use of moclobamide. Moclobamide lacks anticholinergic effects and cognitive impairments can be improved by moclobamide. Moclobamide suppresses the unstimulated release of certain pro-inflammatory cytokines which are believed to be involved in the pathophysiology of major depression and stimulates the release of anti-inflammatory cytokines. Long-term treatment with moclobamide leads to an increase in cyclic adenosine monophosphate CAMP binding to CAMP-dependent protein kinase PKA. Moclobamide is chemically unrelated to irreversible MAUI antidepressants and only has a very weak pressor effect of orally administered tyramine. In humans, the N-oxide metabolites of moclobamide and moclobamide itself are the compounds that produce most of the inhibition of MAO-A. Other metabolites are significantly less potent than the parent compound. In healthy people moclobamide has a relatively small suppressing effect on REM sleep. In contrast, depressed people who have been treated with moclobamide, progressively show improved sleep over a four-week period, with an increase in stage 2 non-rapid eye movement NREM, sleep and rapid eye movement REM, sleep. There have been conflicting findings with regard to moclobamide altering cortisol levels and whether moclobamide increases growth hormone levels. Testosterone levels increase significantly with long-term use of moclobamide in depressed males. Moclobamide also has neuroprotective properties in its demonstrated anti-hypoxia or anti-ischemia effects. There is a possibility that moclobamide may possess similar neuro-rescuing properties, similar to selegiline. However, research is required to determine this. Moclobamide has also been demonstrated in a single-dose research study to possess antinociceptive properties. Platelet MAO is of the MAO B and this is inhibited only to a small degree in humans. The inhibition is due to low levels of metabolites of moclobamide that have MAO B inhibiting properties. Moclobamide has been reported to be a mixed MAO-A, MAO-B inhibitor in rats but in man, it has been reported to be a pure MAO-A inhibitor, blocking the decomposition of norepinephrine, serotonin and, to a lesser extent, dopamine. No reuptake inhibition of any of the neurotransmitters occurs. The pharmacodynamic action encompasses activation, elevation of mood, and improvement of symptoms like dysphoria, fatigue, and difficulties in concentration. The duration and quality of sleep may be improved. In the treatment of depression the antidepressant effect often becomes evident in the first week of therapy, earlier than typically noted with TCAs, SSRIs. MAO inhibition returns completely back to normal after 24 hours, which allows for changing to another antidepressant within 24 hours of the last dose taken of moclobamide. Pharmacokinetics in humans moclobamide is rapidly and almost completely absorbed and totally metabolized via the liver. Peak plasma levels occur 0.3 to 2 hours after oral administration. The bioavailability increases during the first week of therapy from 60% to 80% and more. The elimination half-life is around 2 hours. 
It is moderately bound to plasma proteins, especially albumin. However, the short disposition half-life somewhat increases after repeated dosing. Moclobamide has an intermediate elimination half-life for systemic clearance and an intermediate volume of distribution. Despite its short half-life the pharmacodynamic action of a single dose persists for approximately 16 hours. The drug is almost completely metabolized in the liver. It is a substrate of CYP2C19 and an inhibitor of CYP2C19, CYP2D6 and CYP1A2. Less than 1% of the drug is excreted unchanged, 92% of the metabolized drug is excreted within the first 12 hours. The main metabolites are the N-oxide RO12-5637 formed via morpholine N-oxidation and lactam derivative RO12-8095 formed via morpholine C-oxidation. Active metabolites are found only in trace amounts. The unchanged drug, less than 1%, as well as the metabolites are excreted renally, in urine. The main degradation pathway of moclobamide is oxidation. About 44% of the drug is lost due to the first pass effect through the liver. Age and renal function do not affect the pharmacokinetics of moclobamide. However, patients with significantly reduced liver function require dose reductions due to the significant slowing of metabolism of moclobamide. Food slows the absorption but does not affect the bioavailability of moclobamide. Steady state concentrations are established after one week. It has been suggested that changes in dose should not be made with a gap of less than a week. Moclobamide has good penetration across the blood-brain barrier with peak plasma levels within the central nervous system occurring two hours after administration. Animal toxicology Acute toxicity, the oral LD50 values in mouse and rat are quite high, indicating a wide therapeutic index. LD50 for mice is 730 mg per kilogram and for rats 1,300 mg per kilogram. In dogs doses in excess of 300 mg per kilogram led to vomiting, salivation, ataxia, and drowsiness. Chronic toxicity, in an 18-month study in rats with 10 mg per kilogram no signs of chronic toxicity were noted, with 50 mg per kilogram and 250 mg per kilogram only a slight loss of weight, and with 250 mg per kilogram mildly elevated alkaline phosphatase and gamma GT. Studies in dogs revealed no toxicity relevant for humans. No evidence for a possible hepatic or cardiovascular toxicity was found. History Irreversible Maui antidepressants were discovered accidentally in the 1950s but their popularity declined as their toxicity especially their dangerous food interactions became apparent and rival tricyclic antidepressants were discovered. Reversible MAOIs were developed in the hope that they would exert efficacy in depressive disorders but with less of the toxicity of the older irreversible compounds, moclobamide. S discovery and marketing brought the renewed interest in MAOIs due to an absence of dangerous tyramine food interactions and potent antidepressant effects. In 1992 moclobamide was launched onto the world markets. Moclobamide was the first reversible Mao A inhibitor to be widely marketed. Moclobamide, as well as other newer antidepressants such as the SSRIs, lead to changes in prescribing patterns and broadened the treatment options for the management of depressive disorders. The discovery of moclobamide in 1972 in Switzerland, as an antidepressant, came about after it was initially investigated as a possible lipid lowering drug or antibiotic. When tests failed, to demonstrate any antibiotic or antilipemic properties, it was then tested for anticholinergic properties to see if it was a possible antidepressant but these tests also proved negative, leading researchers to think it may, in fact, be an antipsychotic. Finally its reversible Mao A properties as well as its lack of tyramine pressor effect. Clinical trials were commenced for moclobamide's effectiveness in the treatment of depression. It was first approved in the UK and Europe as the first reversible and selective inhibitor of MAO-A and is now approved in over 50 countries worldwide. 
Subsequent research found that moclobamide is well tolerated in elderly patients and far superior to tricyclic antidepressants in terms of side effects, tolerability as well as being much safer in overdose. With regard to effectiveness in the treatment of depression, moclobamide was determined to be as effective as all major antidepressant drug classes. There is no need for dietary restrictions in contrast to people on irreversible MAOIs and apart from an important interaction with other serotonergic enhancing agents such as SSRIs and pethidine, there are few serious drug interactions. Because of these benefits of moclobamide over existing antidepressant drugs, moclobamide became regarded as a beneficial addition to medical prescribing arsenal. Additionally moclobamide was found, unlike most other antidepressants on the market, to actually improve all aspects of sexual function. It is the only reversible MAUI in use in clinical practice. The fact that moclobemida's pharmacokinetic properties are unaltered by age, that cognition is improved in the elderly, and moclobamide has low potential for food and drug interactions opened up a new avenue for the treatment of major depressive disorder. Due to a lack of financial incentive, such as the costs of conducting the necessary trials to gain approval, moclobamide is unavailable in the USA pharmaceutical market. In 2016 moclomabide, Aurorix, was discontinued in Brazil for commercial reasons. Society and culture Brands It is sold under many trade names worldwide. References Further reading Scientific information on Aurorix, German PubChem Substance Summary, Moclobamide National Center for Biotechnology Information